Ready? Let's do it. Good morning, Drummer Alert Nation. There is a certain clip making the way on the internet. Now, this is honestly hilarious. Now, it's not hilarious the matter at hand of Jonathan Majors, also known as Kang, in the MCU, has been under, uh, well, he's been formally charged with beating his ex-girlfriend. Now, that's obviously a very serious crime. Now, ABC, Good Morning America are interviewing him. Now, who does Kang work for? He works for the Marvels, doesn't he? Which is obviously Jonathan Majors. I'm not sure so why that, but who owns Good Morning America? America ABC. Fucking Disney. Disney own Marvel. Now when I watch this trailer here, it's very sinister. And actually think of the boys when you watch this stuff. You can see the deep or homelander. This is honestly like hysterical. Hilarious. Almost quite scary as to the level of manipulation involved with this. I'm going to play the clip. You might have seen it, but watch it again. Just look at the guy's face. Remember, this guy's an actor, a trained professional. I'm a trained professional. So he says he can cry, fake emotions, pretend he's something that he isn't. Like all good actors can I'm sure that's why you can't trust people like this because if I want if I was a really good actor and I was like oh no I accidentally ran over a cat and I made a, a an apology video you know on YouTube it's like, I'm really sorry and I started crying on command you'd be like, oh my god it's real I've just fiddled you Jeffrey Epstein Jimmy Savile style I've absolutely tickled your testicles and made you think oh this guy's actually real and he's a good guy when really I'm an absolutely manipulative fucking retard who's absolutely got my strings above you manipulating you like a witch I'm carrying your voodoo doll shit and like playing with you like yes my child you shall follow my I command and do as I say. Anyway, boys and girls, let's play that shit. Play it. Ready? Let's do it. Johnny. Are you ready? Like, my God. Sorry to pause it after two seconds, but like, are you ready? Ready for what? To admit you're a woman beater and you're off to jail, as deservedly, bro. You're not cut. How is he not in jail? Like, what? Surely there should be repercussions to being found out as a woman beater, but anyway. Ready? Let's do it. Jonathan Majors, Hollywood actor. Why did you decide you wanted to talk now? Now, his first interview anywhere since being convicted. He doesn't want to talk. Disney are trying to set him up so they don't ruin this next big villain arc stuff. Why do you want to talk now? He doesn't want to talk. There is a script. You follow the lines, you've got your sides, bro. You don't have to do anything but read it. But the voiceover is so cringe and embarrassing. It's like Jonathan Majors, actor, phenomenon, millionaire, woman beater. On this Good Morning America's episode. Halting his ex girlfriend. Your reaction to that verdict. What does he now want you to know? The emotional exclusive. Emotional exclusive, bro. It doesn't matter how you felt. Imagine how the woman felt. You gave her a bloody black eye and kicked her head in. It's we're not here for your emotions or how you feel. Nah, 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 nah. No way, Jose. No way. All we want is your fat face put in jail, bro. Drop the steroids and pick up a flower. You know what I mean? Be a bit more peaceful. It's been hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been hard. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just give me a minute, give me a minute. It takes me a minute to fake tears, actually. Hold on, hold on, they're coming. Oh, there they are. Ah, oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to, you know, repeatedly beat people and, you know, I've been caught. That's the worst part. Usually I get away with it, but, oh, God, today, today I've, I've been caught. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. No one actually believes this shit. It's so pantomime and so torrid and, ugh, it makes me, it makes me sticky and sick and angry, really. It makes me really annoyed that this is what Disney, because Disney own AB, you know, they Disney own this. They are doing this to try and manipulate the public into forgetting getting and moving on and saying ah actually look just give the woman a million bucks she'll forget the world will forget and we can make Kang's conquest you know it's disgusting who cares about Kang at this stage you know you've already ruined the Marvel Universe boys like this guy ain't gonna save you he wasn't even that good in Ant-Man like let's be real about it this Monday morning you think you'll ever work in Hollywood again and then the cliffhanger. They have the audacity to leave us on a cliffhanger. Do you think you'll ever work in Hollywood again? Who fucking cares, dude? You should be in jail, not playing the bagpipes on stage like good lord. I know this is a very sensitive matter, but I think this is the height of Disney being disgusting, you know? This is classic, like, you've seen it in The Boys, you've seen it on, like, all them sort of TV shows that, uh, you know, quite crude and humorous, shall we say. What, what what's, to, what's the Twitter fear saying? Look, why this shit look like it comes from a scene from the boys yeah this is so bad i legit thought some some ai parody <laughs> like look everyone's tweeting about it. he's literally <laughs> look at that that's literally it he's on there to apologize he's the same he's there saying oh it's been so hard in my life oh god i grew up with nothing i watched my father beat my mother so i thought it was right like dude 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 this is not an excuse to be publicly airing on the internet this is for you to deal with privately and you need to be kicked out of society i know we let pedophiles in hollywood for some reason by the way and they've got away with it for years and years but when you've been publicly outed as a woman beater you should be nowhere near that 
circle, boys. Absolutely nowhere near that circle. I have not nothing against Jonathan Majors as a, an actor or a person, but when you get caught and you're guilty of beating women, now I've not gone into the papers, I've not read stuff because I've got a life, and to be honest, I just don't give a fuck. But I trust the court systems, even in America, I know, which is very naive to think so. If you told me that this guy will be back on a TV show hosted by Disney a few weeks after it, I told you you're fucking joking. You're, you're, you're taking the P.I. staker, mate. This is real, lads and ladies, and it is scary to be a part of because they are trying to manipulate us into pretending that this never happened. They just want Kang. They want Kang the Conqueror to be this guy, and it makes my mind blow up thinking that they thought this would work. Who in their right mind is ever going to watch this now? You know, Aquaman did terrible. Everyone hated Amber Heard, and I think that probably contributed it. Obviously, it wasn't a great film either, but I don't think that did it any benefits. It just makes me confused, like, oh, the beginning. Ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Like we're, we're off on a roller coaster, we're about to have some fun. No, bro, you're about to get interviewed and publicly slammed because you have been caught and accused of being a, a, a woman beater. Are you ready? You're about to get dick slapped. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Fucking hell, we're not taking off to space. We're not off on holiday. This is a serious matter that needs serious attention to with serious people. It shouldn't be on ABC, owned by Disney, by the way. I keep saying it because it's insane. should be on the internet trying to plead your innocence and saying, oh, it's been so hard for me. Yeah, I might have given her a black eye, but, you know, at least she didn't have to give me a million quid it's like all oh, right that's all right then you know fair, fair, fair enough jonathan why didn't why didn't i come to that conclusion you're such an inspirational a lovely man uh, look i had to make a video on this because when i watched it um i honestly couldn't believe what i was thinking if someone then the next day told me it was fake and it was like you know artificial intelligence or someone had cgi'd hang the conqueror there i'd be like yeah to be fair i fell for it well done it was brilliant but it's true this is vort level of territory right there vort level of narcissism as well oh, i just can't get over this beginning ready Let's do it. What? And they put that in the trailer. And then the ending. All jokes aside though, tell me you can't picture Ashley sort of sitting behind the camera crew and just commenting like, yes, that's brilliant. Perfect. Oh my God, read the side and fucking screaming at him like saying that's brilliant. That's what you should do. I mean, this is straight from the fucking boys, lads. The cliffhanger. Like, do you think you will ever work in Hollywood again? It's like, hopefully not. He's going to say, I hope to redeem myself and be a better human being. Look to the right, read the lines, because that is what God would want me to do. Yes, good answer. He can read his lines. Like, everything on this show is going to be scripted. I might honestly watch it. If it's really hilarious, I'll make a video on it, but it's an absolute joke. It's mind-blowing that Disney have authorised this and said, yeah, let's do this. This will be a way to win back the public, yeah? No, bro. It makes you look even worse. Even worse. You should have just bought a cabin in the woods and effed off and never returned. But to have the audacity to almost turn it into some comedic show, like, let's do it, and then leave it on the cliffhanger like it makes me want to watch. Bruh, bruh, you must be smoking some a serious crackerjack because I am not watching that. Ready? Let's do it.